hello friends my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial in this video tutorial we are going to discuss about the row set listener so before I start coding uh, let's create the table as well as its content which is required for this demo so here I have our employee table uh, and I have few insert script insert uh, insert query so let's run uh, this DB script in MySQL workbench so I have selected a database JDBC DB so just I'm pasting this DB script over here and select all and paste over here to execute the selected portion of the, the script and here if I refresh then table has been created and this table is populated with few records so let me show you the records so now this table is having four records right now come to the eclipse so this portion is done and uh, now in previous couple of videos uh, we had learned how to work with the JDBC row set right so this is the code which I have copied from my previous video tutorial if you did not watch my previous video tutorial then I will request you to go and watch the, uh, those video tutorials then come to watch this so here basically uh, we have uh, something which is called row set provider and which is having a factory method new factory so we call this method that uh, returns us the row set factory object and we call a uh, create jdbc row set on row set factory this returns us the jdbc row set object and we we just we are setting the database information uh, in jdbc row set and finally we call the set command uh, method and we are passing the select query just we are performing select operation on employee table and just we are trying to execute this JDBC row set so execute method basically this will fetch all data from the employee table and that will uh, put into the JDBC row set and as we know that JDBC row set is connected uh, type of row set so this will sync with always database so uh, JDBC is by default updatable and scrollable so you can move forth back and forth and you can uh, uh, perform any kind of CRUD operation using uh, JDBC row set right so in previous couple of videos we have learned how to perform CRUD operations right so just I have copied those codes in this class so that's why I said just go and watch my previous tutorial so first of all we have a add method so this basically this add method basically ret uh, adds a try to add a record uh, into database using JDBC row set so this is the way to add a record into database table uh, by using JDBC row set now next method is the, basically that is basically trying to update an email address of the uh, employee who's uh, a new email as well as employee ID is given so Basic, basically that works like this so once we update the email address then just we are breaking so we are coming out the loop and we are just setting the result set cursor before the first row now next method we have a like delete employee by id so basically we provide the uh, employee id and basically employee id who belongs to this employee id we want to delete from the database so that is pretty enough pretty straightforward and after leading that record we just we are putting the result set cursor before the first row or before the uh, yeah before the first record now finally we have a show employee info basically this uh, method is basically responsible to display all records which basically retrieves all rows from the JDBC row set and that was trying to just uh, display here itself so let me uncomment this portion of code and let's let me try to run these codes one by one so first of all i would like to run uh, show employees info if i run this and you can see all employees info has been displayed over here right so there are four records in our database all four records has been displayed over here now similarly we have a add 
employee so basically this will simply add a record into the employee but why i am telling you these things these things already we have learned in couple of uh, video tutorials right so thing is that one thing i want to cover in this video tutorial that is nothing but the how to make use of the row set listener so uh, here if you want to use if you want if some kind of event occurs like uh, event like if you try to add any rows into the result set or if you want to update uh, any record into the jdbc row set or if you want to delete any row or if you want to display all records from the database means your uh, move on cursor right so your uh, moves cursors one by one right and that you uh, you are trying to display all records from the row set so these are the called event based on the uh, when these events occur and if you want to uh, call any listener right and listen listener will live, listen this event and based on the this event if you want to perform certain task then you can uh, do using uh, a listener so here i have defined uh, i have defined a class it's called employee service row uh, set listener and that implements a row set listener and row set listener is having a uh, three callback method saying that row set change and row set change row set row set change row changed and uh, uh, cursor moved and all three callback methods except row set event argument right so that's why i have implemented this interface and once you implement this interface then you need to override all three callback methods so i have just overridden these three callback methods and here you can see row change row set changed right and here i'm just given a one sop saying that row set changed event and uh, this event object is a method is called get source so you get the source and that source i'm trying to print that's it and similar code i have written for the row change as well but in the case of cursor moved uh, i have written code in uh, a bit more detail like uh, if you have a source right if you get event as a method is called row set event has a method is called get source and you get the source and here this source you can convert into the JDBC row set INPL, which gives you the this is basically implementer of JDBC row set. JDBC row set is an interface, and this is the implementer of that uh, interface. And this is or this comes with the JDK bundle itself, so you don't need to add any extra jar file for this. I have type clustered into the uh, JDBC row set, and here I have written some code like JDBC row set is after last or uh, jdbc row set is before first then i don't want to do anything right because your if your cursor is pointing before the uh, first record or after the last record that you won't get anything uh, if that is not pointing uh, after the last record or before the first record then we would like to retry these values uh, record value or put entire row set entire uh, row set value here and whatever you want to do with these records you can do either you can if, if you want to um, uh, put this uh, records into the some historical data or if you want to maintain some audit kind of table or if you want to uh, put this records into the somewhere in the file system you can perform right uh, your business log is logic is completely unaware about it right only thing is that you will have to register the listener right so here i'm going to register the listener so how we can register the listener so you have a method is called add uh, row set listener and here listener which you have created that you will have to pass it over here so employ row set listener you will have to call and let me run program one by one so first of all i'm gonna run show employ info and this these things i don't want to print just i'm going to comment it so these things already i'm printing when you call this method then corresponding callback method is uh, cursor moved right so when you move the cursor of your result set then this method will be called for the every record and just we are printing information over here right so let me run this program so look at here cursor moved event occur with the following uh, employee details 
and the cursor has been moved four times for all four records and just we are getting these records into the listener callback method here and and if you want to perform some business logic right so those business logic you can perform here uh, you get the value for all columns you put into the model class in employee and whatever you want to do that you can do uh, but uh, behind the scene this listener uh, event method is this listener method is getting called and here uh, you are getting the same record and you can perform whatever you want to do if you want to take some action you can take right so i hope you understood now let me run another method as well so you saw when i have called so employees info then one of the callback method of uh, employee service uh, roset listener has been called now i'm going to call method like we have another method add employee now let's see what are the callback method is getting called so here i'm going to add one record into the database using uh, jdbc row set and let me verify how many records there are four records currently if i call this method then see row set row changed event method is getting called and this message coming from here itself a uh, new employee is added so row changed uh, listener method is getting called on this this method is getting called if you try to add a new record completely new record into database so this callback method will be called and you can get the details like this whatever i did in the uh, cursor mode and you can uh, you can uh, the, this information you can log somewhere like in, like in log file or file system or in as even some other uh, database or other table audit table right so similar code you can write in the row chain so when you add any new record then row chain method is getting called as you saw now let's call some other method so i'm going to comment let's call update method so i would like to update the employee whose email address is 3 right now sam cs 2014 and i want to end sam to i want to update his email address with this so let's see there are how many callback method is getting called now you can see so i'm trying to update the employee whose id is three so one two three so all of before cursor i mean result set cursor will start from here from first second third right initially that points before the first record so all of our three records for record one two and three uh cursor moved has been called right and finally uh, row changed event method is also getting called because because of this uh, row you are changing right entire row you are uh, deleting from the database right so row change uh, listener method is also getting called and if i go and refresh then uh, 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 i think i have also added one record as well right so add adding a record i haven't okay so i did not refresh database so now we have a uh, how many uh, now this record earlier we had added and you can see the sam email address that has been changed right so all three of our three records uh, 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 this method uh, moved cursor has been called and for one record row changed has been called right so you have updated email address of particular email id particular employee right similarly if you try to delete a record from the database like uh, uh, if i want to delete record fourth record right so let's say fourth record and if i run it then see how many callback method is getting called so to reach on fourth record uh, you have to move from the first then second third and fourth so all our four records uh, cursor moved uh, callback method has been called and for last fourth record right so row change event has been called right if i go and refresh then fourth row has been deleted right so i hope you understood how this callback method is getting called and finally already we have seen how uh, 
callback method is getting called for call for this method so i hope you enjoyed learning this video thanks for watching this video and this code i'm going to put on